to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexia. I am currently at my summer house on a Greek island with my family. Thought I'd take this opportunity to just pick up the camera over the next few days and film anything that's interesting and just show you what I get up to when I'm at my summer house. So I'm really excited about this video. I hope you are too. And without further ado, let's get started. You guys need to see what Maui spends her day doing. By the way, I'm not naked, I'm wearing my bikini. So she spends the entire day just chasing the butterflies. I feel like she's pretty much obliterated the butterfly population of Kefalonia. So I'll show you what she does. She just spends it here by these plants that have a bunch of butterflies, as you can see, and then pounces on them like a little lion or tiger and brings the butterfly inside the house and plays with it endlessly and I feel so bad for the butterflies but there's really not much I can do about it now you're pretending to be well behaved for the vlog is that right Maui? excited to sit in the sun and tan. It's like my summer's mission to get a nice tan. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's obviously way more important things to do. But I'm going to sit by the pool. I'm going to read my book. Okay, so this is the book that I am currently reading. 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. I talked about it in one of my previous videos. It actually takes me quite a bit of time to get through non-fiction books as opposed to fiction. I feel like when I'm reading non-fiction books, which is a very new habit, I just read them much more slowly to make sure I understand what I'm reading and analyze it and think about it. Genuinely been really enjoying nonfiction books for a change. And what I like about this book is that it talks about issues that have been occurring over the last couple of years and issues that are going to occur in the next five years. So it's a very current and relevant book. And it sort of opens up the debate on certain issues. He doesn't try and force feed you his opinion. He just, you know, states the two sides of the debate or a less mainstream opinion. And it just sort of encourages you to think about your opinion on these important issues. So it has chapters on immigration, racism, on war, on terrorism. It has a lot on technology and artificial intelligence. So there really is a chapter for everyone. I'm sure you're gonna find a chapter that you enjoy. I definitely recommend you reading it if you haven't or checking it out. I'm thinking of doing a little mini book review video at some point with a couple of books I've read recently. If you'd be interested in that, please let me know in the comments down below. This all started because I wanted to say that I'm gonna go sit by the pool and read this book. Excuse me. Maui, taste my sosoma soon. filming today but my dad just found a bird's nest with three little eggs inside one of them was unfortunately broken so he threw it out but there's two more and weird fact about me this has been something i've wanted to see probably my entire life i don't know why i've just been really obsessed with the idea of finding a bird's nest with eggs inside that and also seeing dolphins so i genuinely can't believe that this has finally come true i'm so excited i just want to show you what it looks like
today and we're actually going to one that's further away it's about an hour away so we're gonna have a nice little road trip well hopefully it's a fun road trip if not it's just going to be me getting super dizzy because the roads here are so twisty and windy. Since we're heading to the beach and we're not staying home and we're doing something different, I just thought I'd take you along with me and show you anything fun we get up to during the day. Enjoy! <laughs> also, I think Maui has sensed that something is going on and we're leaving because she seems a little bit anxious. Uh, we're obviously going to leave her here. We're not going to take her with us to the beach. We don't want to be those people. Does anyone even take their cats to the beach? I don't know. All right, time to get into the car and I'll see you in an hour. We are two thirds of the way there super sunny but we've just made a little pit stop at Myrtos which is probably one of the most iconic beaches in all of Greece and you are not even ready for the view you're just not ready pretty this is the beach just by the town and I'm gonna walk down that street and show you some pretty houses it's honestly so cute it's very picturesque I found a cheeky alleyway and I want to see where it leads to so let's check it out From our lunch spot we've come to a taverna for lunch because it's July 15th and I still haven't had calamari so this is the day it's gonna happen not vlogging anything else yesterday just because I got really car sick on the way back with all the twists and turns and then as soon as we got home we had to urgently take Maui to the vet she seems to have had an allergic reaction to something either a bug or the grass or a plant or something so we had to take her to the vet she's okay she got an anti antibiotic shot and hopefully the issue will be solved in about five to six days if not i have to take her to the vet in athens again we'll cross that bridge when we get there it's actually our last day here in kefalonia we're packing up the car not really looking forward to this five hour journey with the cat but i still think it will have been worth it she's had such a great time here i feel like she's really had a holiday so no matter how much she meows in the boat or in the car i feel like this will definitely have been worth it and now we know to also bring her next time just quickly also wanted to show you guys one last thing so before the house that we're staying in was built we <laughs> were staying in this tiny 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 little cottage and sometimes we reminisce of the days that we stayed there it's crazy like you'll see how small it is and somehow we were all so happy in those four walls and it just really shows you sometimes that all this extra stuff like the pool and you know a bigger house and whatever like it's awesome but it's not the things that make you happy you know so yeah but it's just mad that we used to come here for like two months at a time stay in a tiny house and have the best summers ever so yeah nice memories it's pretty rustic i must warn you Look at this cute little cottage. So my dad built this with his hands. So right here is the main part. That over there was my parents' bedroom window and that here is my brother's and I bedroom window. And then you have to literally go out of the door <laughs> to go to the bathroom. And then the next door over to the right, over here was the kitchen. 
and this was like the outdoor eating area and there was obviously no wi-fi but somehow we didn't care i mean i guess it's because we were eight and we didn't have phones okay back to civilization now maui it's our last day here we're about to go home she's saying her goodbye to the butterflies yep last oh it escaped buddy you missed it's okay next summer I've had such a good time here with the family and I'm really gonna miss having this amazing view when I wake up in the morning and just being in the countryside but at the same time I'm definitely a city person and we've had two weeks here and it's time to go back for sure. I've already booked a table at Square. Square is like my favorite sushi restaurant close to where I live so yeah I've already made plans for tonight. Excited about that to catch up with my friend and yeah gonna get ready to get in the car and head home it's about a four hour car journey and an hour boat journey good times ahead hopefully maui won't be meowing too much but even if she does again i just feel like it was definitely worth it i'll vlog anything interesting that happens in the journey just realize that if i don't end up vlogging anything else then i probably won't have time to close the vlog when i get home so i'm going to film the outro now in case i don't film anything else let me know in the comments if you've been to Greece, if you've been to any Greek islands or Kefalonia specifically and if you like them. If you didn't like them, don't, don't tell me about it. Just kidding. I'm all for hearing constructive criticism. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!